Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. A special greeting to those who will be joining with us on Shine TV this morning. Today, we will hear about another appearance of Jesus to his disciples. We are followers of Jesus, who knows us and loves us as his brothers and sisters. Confident in that love, we stand and sing our opening hymn. <laughs> So we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. I'd like to offer Mass today for Ella's uh, baby sister back in the Philippines, Domi Jane, who died on Easter Sunday at the very young age of 45. So we pray in this Mass uh, eternal rest for Domi Jane and comfort for Ella and her family. As we gather, as always, let's re remember the Lord's loving mercy for each one of us as we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross to take away our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are risen from the dead and living amongst us. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are our good shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray.
May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed usefulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant Jesus, the same Jesus you handed over and disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are the witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold, when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the first letter of St. John. I am writing this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes away our sins, but not only ours, but the whole world's. We can be sure that we know God only by keeping his commandments. Anyone who says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar. Refusing to admit the truth, but when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
With you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way, and how Jesus had made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I, myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. With the exception of the, uh, the children away at children's liturgy and the couple of babies still amongst us, I think I'd be pretty safe in saying that the rest of us here at some point in our lives have done something or said something or not done something that we regret. Maybe it's something that comes back to us from time to time. Maybe it's something that leaves us burdened. But I think all of us at some stage have probably done something that we really wish we could undo. And I think that's who we meet in the gospel today with the disciples in the room. I think they are full of regrets because all of them, with the exception of John and some of the women, all of them ran away and left Christ to die alone on the cross. One of them, who was his first lieutenant, really, denied even knowing him. And Jesus comes into their midst, and he doesn't say to them, Where were you? He says to them, Peace be with you you. Shalom. Peace be with you. And it's interesting their reaction. When he says that, they fall back in shock. And I think it's because they can't cope with Jesus' response. They expect to be told off. And all he says to them is, peace be with you. And then he assures them that it's actually he amongst them. And then they have that profound experience of forgiveness where he says to them, be at peace. And he talks to them about 
repentance. And he commissions them. He says to them, repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached to all the nations. And people can't preach forgiveness unless they know forgiveness themselves. And that's what he shows to them. He shows them that forgiveness. I think it's sometimes uh, easy for us to think that when Jesus says those words, he's talking about the bishops and the priests, that they can forgive. They can go out and forgive all of our sins. But he's talking to all of us. All of us are called to forgive, to go out and to be the presence of the forgiving Christ in our world and in our families and in the places we work. We're all called to be forgiving people. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And it's when we do that, as the, as the first two readings have reminded us, it's when we do that, that the, the presence of a, a forgiving and a faithful God is made known to our world. So that's the call to us today. Just as we've known regrets in our lives, let's know today the Lord's forgiveness the Lord's peace, so that we, in turn, can share that with, the, with others. Today I'm going to ask you once again to renew your baptismal promises, so I invite you to stand. <coughs> my sisters and brothers through the paschal mystery we have been buried with christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life and so i ask you now to renew the promises of holy baptism by which you promise to serve god in our church and so my sisters and brothers do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of god I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. May our loving God, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. 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 So, my friends, let us pray with confidence, knowing our God understands us, loves us, and hears our prayers. For Pope Francis and Bishop Steve, that the risen Lord may be their strength and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the church throughout the world, for those newly received into our church, and for all who come to this community seeking to know God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those most in need of our prayers, for the very poor, for those who will die today without enough food or clean water or shelter, for the homeless and for refugees, for all who are suffering from COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For Peter Stanish, John Hanna, and all who are sick at this time, may Jesus the healer give them strength and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember those who have died, especially Julia Slattery and Alice Sister Domi. For those who mourn, may the risen Lord be their constant companion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers and the prayers of all who call on you. Give us what we need to live, work and witness as disciples of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
So I pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our bishop, the clergy, and all your holy people. Remember Domi Jane, Allah's sister, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember all of our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, the patron of our church, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. that we may be the presence of the forgiving Christ in our world, we pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now, forever and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. And to one another we offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world and brings us peace. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you to those of, uh, of those of you who've joined us through Shine TV today. Let's all stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of our loving God be upon you all this day, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.